Welcome back sa ating FA page na free reviewers managed by Lunalin at sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Lunalin. Now, let's answer question from random post. At ito ay nakapost sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Pero, ito ay nakikita ko sa GC ng FB group na ito. Yung Philippine Civil Service Review for All. So, anyway, ito ang post ni Sir Ferrer. Basahin muna natin ang problem na to. Aristotle solves an equation in 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Pythagoras does this twice as fast. Huwag kayong malito dito sa twice. Di ba kapag sinabing twice, mag times 2 tayo. Pero kapag sinabing twice as fast, itong si Aristotle solves an equation within 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Pero itong si Pythagoras, kapag sinabing twice as fast, ibig sabihin, mas mauna siyang matapos kay ni Aristotle. Aristotle. So, instead na mag-multiply tayo ng 2, i-divide natin ng 2 itong 3 minutes and 42 seconds. So, anyway, Leonardo needs 42 seconds more than Pythagoras. How much time does Leonardo need? So, dito muna tayo kay Aristotle. Aristotle. Siya ay matapos niyang masolve ang equation in 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Si Pythagoras does this twice as fast. Kalahati sa 42 ay 21. So, 21 seconds. Kahal, kalahati sa 3 minutes or 3 divided by 2, this is 1.5 minutes. Now, ito minuto natin. Gawin natin whole number. So, i-keep natin yung 1 minute. Itong 0.5 minute, sa isang minuto, ang equivalent dyan ay 60 seconds. 60 seconds. So, ang 0.5 or yung kalahati, so 30 divided by 60 divided by 2 and that is 30. So, yung 30 seconds, i-add natin dito sa 21. So, 30 seconds. And then, meron tayong 1. Ay, huwag mong kalimutan yung 1 minute natin. Now, i-add natin yan siya. 21 plus 30 and this is 51 seconds. So, therefore, kapag si Pythagoras lang, matatapos niya ang pag-solve sa isang equation, 1 minute and 51 seconds. Yan si Pythagoras. Now, itong si Leonardo needs 42 seconds more than Pythagoras. So, ito yung si Pythagoras. Si Pythagoras, 1 minute and 50 seconds. So, si Leonardo ay 1 minute, itong 1 minute na to, i-add natin yung 42 seconds more dito sa ating 51. So, 51 plus 42 seconds. This is 93 seconds. So, 1 minute and 93 seconds. Ito namang 93, meron na yung isang minuto dyan. Huwag kalimutan, ang isang minuto, ang equivalent niyan ay 60 seconds. So, minusan na lang natin ito ng 60 seconds. Itong si 93, so minus 60 seconds. At yung 60 seconds na yan, 60 seconds, i-add na natin dito sa 1 minute natin. So, yung 1 minute plus 1 minute, this is 2 minutes. And then, 93 minus 60, and this is 33 seconds. Kaya ang sagot dito ay 2 minutes and 33 seconds. So, yung comment ko pala doon, tama yung sagot ko. So, it, the answer here is letter D. 
na kung medyo nagguluhan kayo dito sa pagsolve-solve ko dito, wait, ulitin natin. Si Aristotle, 3 minutes and 42 seconds. Kalahati ni 42, 21. Kalahati sa 3 minutes, 1.5. Doon na tayo sa 1 minute kasi yung 0.5 equivalent niya ay 30 seconds. 21 plus 30 and this is 51 seconds. So, 1 minute and 51 seconds itong si Pythagoras. Tapos, itong si Leonardo, 42 seconds more. So, add lang natin ng 42 seconds. So, this is 93 seconds. Yung 93 ay more than na yan sa 1 minute. Kasi ang 1 minute ay equivalent sa 60 seconds. So, yan yung i-minus natin dito, 60 seconds. So, ang seconds natin dito ay 33 seconds. Sa choices naman, isa lang naman ang merong 33 seconds. At itong 60 seconds na to, yan yung 1 minute. So, this is 2 minutes at yan yung kay Leonardo. Si Leonardo, matatapos niya ang isang equation, yung pag-solve sa isang equation within 2 minutes and 33 seconds. Thank you for watching and all. I hope mayroon kayong natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.